Hey y'all, this is AL Thick Madame and Cinnamon Sugar. Oh Lord, I didn't see that car, that tree right there, but I'm quicker than them. But anyway, uh, this is AL Thick Madame and Cinnamon Sugar, and I'm on my way home. This is probably gonna be the quickest what are they post y'all gonna ever get because I have an emergency, meaning I have to number one. <laughs> I know it's TMI, but y'all, I, I done did the most today. Didn't realize I had been out a little bit too long. And now my bet, my body's telling me, all right now. <laughs> my blood are like, excuse me, you know what time it is. And all I, and I, all I had was a uh, nectarine. That's all I had today. I haven't even had anything to drink, like, because I thought I was gonna be back home way before that to really eat and drink because I drank a whole lot of spring water. I just didn't want to be out and have to do like this, but it's not that bad because I haven't drank anything anyway. Anyway, like I said, this is going to probably be the briefest what are they post y'all gonna ever get out of me. So I know y'all probably happy because I get very long winded. So let me go ahead and get down to the meat and potatoes of what's going on. So to make a long story short, I am no longer friends with the person that I told y'all that I uh, loaned some money to. It's not even because of the money situation. So something told me, as usual, y'all, I don't know what it, every single time something tell me, go look on social media. I do it, and that's when I end up finding stuff out. So some said, man, go look on social media. And I did. What do y'all got going on? And so I was like, okay, let me go look on social media. Looked on social media. See, this is what I'm talking about. I wish I could have showed y'all that. Somebody tore up a guardrail over here, one car accident, that I don't be understanding. Like, <laughs> this is like one of the slowest areas you have to drive through. It's like, how are you crashing out? But anyway, so I'm no longer friends with this person. And like I said, it's not because of the money that is owed to me. So I went on social media and I was like, hmm, cause I noticed that he hadn't been posting lately. And I'm like, okay. Now keep in mind, like maybe three, four days ago, he reached out to me via uh, instant message, DM, whatever you want to call it, and was like, um, hey, old friend, you want to do an old friend a favor or something like that? And basically was asking me to uh, come get him from work or some child. And I had been asleep. I had to be at work. You know what I'm saying? I ain't leaving the house I'm in for the day. And I had a long day that day too. So it's like, what is we talking about? Like I was half sleeping in. Like I had woke up cause you know, upstairs folks trying me as usual. So I went on by my business. I didn't even open the message cause I could see the full message. Just like, what's the point of me opening it? Like, nah, find another fool. So like I said, out of nowhere, I was like, mm, some told me to go check and see what was going on. Cause he normally posts several things every day. Hadn't said nothing. Went on there. This man unfriended me. <laughs> Y'all don't understand how hard I cackled because it's like the audacity. The audacity. <laughs> when I actually have been a great friend to you up until the recent few months because it's not even that I hadn't been a friend to him even recently. It's just he hasn't been wanting to face the truth. I don't understand why these people be trying me. I had just gotten my parking spot back somebody who is this person you don't live here child i don't be understanding anyway oh people irk my soul so anyway um <clears throat> so yeah i get on there he done unfriended me it's like child you unfriended me why like if you're gonna unfriend me because i won't pay you back no more see you're you're proving my point i won't well, i won't give you any more money that's what i meant to say because I just saw something in the street, y'all, and it looked like a part on somebody's car. And if you run over it, your tire is going to surely be blown. So I was like, nah, let me get my life together because I ain't got time for it. So that's what I did. Um, I hate when stupid people do stupid stuff, child. I really can't. Anyway, um, now I got to park in an ignorant way somewhere where I ain't supposed to be at. It's like, child, why don't y'all go somewhere else? Pick someone else, go somewhere else. Like, you don't live here. People irk my soul with that. I swear. I just be like, baby, you don't live here. You over here doing the most. Anyway, let me 
Am I good? Yeah, I'm good now. Child. So, anyway, y'all excuse the sun. Like, normally, my parking spot <laughs> prevents all of this foolishness. Like, this, like normally, my parking spot prevents it prevents me from having to be in all this sun but yeah that's what's going on right now anyway y'all let me turn this car off because I ain't, ain't like I'm driving no more so anyway hopefully y'all can see me because I can't even hardly see me because this sun is killing me so I'm just like I said to you when you are ready to have an adult conversation feel free to reach out to me I said this to him several times and it's like within each conversation he would try to direct it and divert it somewhere else. And it's like, but sir, you're the problem. You are the problem. You don't like the fact that I'm not handing you money anymore. I'm not going out of my way to waste my gas, essentially. Like, run my gas out for you no more. Because, like, I... Like, I never once said to him, you need to hand me gas money if I'm going to come get you, take you places, do all this other stuff. Never once did that cross my mind. Never once did I ask him for anything. He never offered. It was what it was. Because to me, if I'm your friend, if we're friends, that's cool, whatever. I ain't worried about it. But I'm talking about it's when gas was getting high, high, high. He wasn't even offering. And then every time I look up, you're expecting me to feed you. Like, you acting as if I'm your mama. I'm not your mama. We ain't kin. Whether you liked me or not, it don't make no sense for you to have sat up here as a man who is in his mid-30s. You have at least two children out there whom you do not financially support. You can't even keep your phone on. And everything I'm saying to y'all, I just said to him, you should be able to have your phone on. You have a prepaid phone, sir. Now, this is not a read. After everything ended with my ex, I downgraded back down to prepaid as well because I legit do not use my phone. I do the bare minimum. I don't do nothing on my phone that requires me to have all this ridiculous data and all that stuff. I'm on my Wi-Fi more than I'm on my data. It's like, what's the point? Then I don't like talking on the phone. So again, what's the point? Like I, I don't, I only have my phone really so that my folks can call me. That's it. That is it. I still have a Montgomery, Alabama phone number. Again, so my folks can call me if they need to call me or whatever. So they can get in touch with me easier and a whole lot easier. Uh, I was trying to say something else. But anyway, y'all know what I'm saying. So yeah, I'm just like, I'm just trying to make it easier for them. So I never even got a Virginia phone number, none of that. Because it's like, even though I've been here longer than I've been anywhere since I moved away from home, you would think I would get... A phone number that reflects that no still got all that so it's like i keep my phone on you know what i'm saying even before i got the job that i have now i was making less money than what he should be making being the fact that he works two different jobs one job he gets paid once a month from and the other one he gets paid every two weeks why is it that you ain't got no money you don't have no bills sir you don't pay your phone bill you don't pay child support to your child that lives in uh, Maryland. You don't pay child support to the woman who you had a baby with less than a year ago that's here in this city, in Virginia. So your money is basically going on weed, the newest ugly, big, bulky shoes. Because he be having, y'all know them, them ugly shoes that look like Balenciagas and stuff. They're like 100 or 200 and some dollars. He spends his checks on shoes mainly that's that's really all he has to show for anything the newest pair of shoes that are ugly big bubble shoes it's like you already skinny and you skinny beyond belief but you want to sit up there and have these big bubble shoes on i don't be understanding they ugly i just be like what is going on but you have nothing to show for it you ain't got no car you ain't got your own place you don't you you don't have no food i don't be understanding he got a food stamp card Again, there's nothing wrong with that. But I know elderly people who actually need money and they only will get him $16 per month for food stamps. And they work their whole lives. They live on their social security. Most of the social security goes to paying their bills. And then they're left with trying to get food stamps and they can't even get them. And when they do get them, they give them $16 here in the state of Virginia. 
I don't understand the stupidity. That is so stupid to me. But anyway, all he has to his name is a food stamp card and all them shoes. It's like, why? For what? All because you didn't want to be grown and have a conversation with somebody who actually was being a friend to you. I had been overextending myself as a friend to you. And then I said to myself, no more. You got mad. Essentially, that is what has happened. Essentially, this man got mad at me because I said, I'm not going to hand him no more money. I'm not finna be out here riding my gas out. Like I, I legit would wake up out of my sleep or I would stop everything I was doing to go get him and take him place and do all this stuff. And every time it had gotten to a point where I always knew that it was a setup for him to say, hey, can you take me here? Can you take me there? Can you pick me up from here? Can you pick me up from there? Can you get me something to eat? Can you do this? Do you got a job just like me. You have a job just like me. And like I told y'all before, I ain't trying to knock nobody. I'm not trying to knock nobody down or kick nobody while they down. Let me put it like that. The thing is, you want to stay down. You were down before I even met you and you had a whole girlfriend. You were living off of her, basically. Living off of her and her child. And you had a child already. Again, still had that child. That child, The child that's in Maryland is like between 13 and 15 years old. He don't take care of that child at all. Don't send no money. He go. The only time he see him is if there happens to be a funeral that happens. And then he'll go there and he just so happened to see him. If the mama can manage to meet up with him. Because he ain't got no way to get to the child. Like, and I'm, I'm the type of person that if you wrong, you wrong. Even though I'm your friend, I'm going to tell you that you wrong. I can say it in a loving way or I can say it in a stern way, but I am your friend. And if I am your friend, it is understood that I love you, whether I say it or not, which I have always told my friends that I love them. So it's not like this man didn't know that I loved him and all of that. But at the same time, you're not going to sit up here and play in my face, play in your children's face and all of that when it comes to the truth. You don't do what you're supposed to do financially. So you're not finna sit up here and continue to leech off of me. I have been dumb enough in my life to sit up there and allow people to leech off me. My ex leached off of me, whether he wants to admit it or not. And I allowed it and I felt like, oh, well, it's fine. We together and this is the way it's supposed to go and whatever, whatever. Okay, whatever. Um, But this man, ain't, he ain't my boyfriend. We ain't dating. Like, you not finna bleed me dry. It was to the point where like it, it was so bad. One time I had j I literally just left the bank from dropping some money in the account for my parents because that's just something that I do. It's not something that I'm required to do. It's something I feel like I'm supposed to do. I'm the oldest. And even if I wasn't the oldest, I feel like if I got extra money, I done worked over. Like I was working over. It was COVID. Like COVID and stuff still going running rampant. This was like one like a couple of months ago. Like I remember this like it was yesterday. I had just got home, just parked my car, and this man come out of nowhere messaging me, talking about, hey, do you have a couple of dollars? Like, I forgot what amount he asked for. Like, for the longest, he asked for 30, 50, all this other stuff here and there. Like, what? For what? For what, sir? You didn't say, I need a bus pass. You don't never say nothing. You always want some weed. You always want some shoes. You always want some food that you can't afford. Because, again... The money that I gave him, he didn't even need it. That's what tripped me out. The first time he asked me for some money, it was for some expensive shoes that he didn't need. That he ended up getting at a discount. But still, he didn't need that money. But told me I get paid from my job that I get paid once a month. I'm going to give you your money back. Da, 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 da. I told him, I said, I feel like you're not going to do it. This man going to argue me down. He's like, no, I'm not. I, I'm not like that. I'm not that type of person. I wouldn't dare do that to anybody, whatever, whatever, right? Yet here we are. I ain't got my money. At this point, you owe me over 200 and some dollars, sir. You owe me over 200 and some dollars. Where that though? That's what I thought. So it's just like, this is what you do. And instead of being a man and saying, you know what? I know I'm wrong. All she asked me for was a conversation. I ain't even read, like, I haven't even read him the way he needed to be read. 
I have not even gone there with him. I have straight up told him the truth, but I have not even gone there like I should. I said to this man, you know, you have responsibilities. Why is your phone always off and all this other stuff? Child, I just be so tired. Like, it's like he's got to the point where he knows where the free Wi-Fi going to be at. So that's the only way he going to get in touch with somebody. And I'm like, and you fin you not finna pop up at my house. That's the one thing I know you not finna do. So don't even try that. Um, but yeah, it's just all kinds of foolishness, y'all. And I'm just like, you think you gonna try me? You think you gonna come for me? Like he really tried to come for me and try to make it seem like I'm not a good friend, but it was subliminal. But then gonna lie to so us. I, like, I wasn't talking about you. You're a lie. We were in the middle of a whole conversation when you stopped the conversation. While I'm typing, because this is, again, one of the times he didn't have his phone on. And he gonna say uh, something about buddy. You, you, real buddy, you, you think you have a, a real buddy, but you don't. Fake buddies aren't, aren't real buddies. They're fake buddies. But good morning. What are you talking about? Because I got the notification out of nowhere. I was like, what is this notification? And everything refreshed, and it was from him two minutes prior when I was responding to what he had just said to me. So now, now keep in mind, this is before I found out about the baby, all this other stuff. Cause for me, I love children. So the fact that you would even share with me that you had a baby, that don't even make no sense. That don't make no sense. Why I gotta find out like a random person on the street that you have a whole new brand new fresh out the womb baby. That don't make no sense to me. Because if I was pregnant and he was my real friend, I would have told him I was pregnant. Like, what What I look like posting it on social media and he got to find out. Any of my friends got to find out. Any of my real friends, they got to find this out by accidentally scrolling upon it. Why I got to... When I tell y'all the first picture he posted of this child, it looked like he created it and it, it is him I'd have told y'all, don't nobody in his family look like him. Ain't no doubt as to whether or not that baby is his or not. Unless this woman sat up there and was with somebody else and it is somebody else's baby. But she said, please, Lord, let this baby look like him. I'm talking about his eyes. and air. If y'all knew what this man looked like, you'd be like, yeah, I let the baby look like that. Yes. The baby got his eyes and everything. His skin complexion, everything. Look like he created this baby and had it. At this point, who is the mama? Him. He the mama and the daddy. Like, that's how much that baby looks just like him. Anyway, so I saw it. I was like, like, I felt like I was crazy. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. Ain't no way that this man has a whole nother baby out here and he ain't tell me. So I'm putting two, to, two and two together because months prior, he put something out on social media talking about, oh, well. I, I have the, I found out the most amazing news. My life is going to be changed forever for the better. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, okay, what is it? And I straight up, I don't play that. I don't, I'm not coy. I don't play coy about nothing. I don't sit up there and be like, Ooh, let me just, you know, beat around the bush and, 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 and try to sweet talk somebody into, you know, kind of seeing if they're going to tell me something, you know, see if I could trick it out of them. No. I straight up ask you, what was that post about when you was talking about the most the, the most amazing thing that's happened to you and just changed your life forever? What happened? What's going on here? He was like, oh, oh my gosh, it's such great news. The next time I see you in person, I'm going to tell you, oh my gosh, because we're friends. So, you know, I I'm going to tell you, but yeah, oh my gosh, like really set it off. And I was like, okay, sir, you live five minutes up the street from me. You can walk to my house. You can walk to where I live. We can meet halfway. I can stop by. You could have said, you know what? I'm excited. Let me tell you about that right now. If you're not busy, can we meet? You could have told me about it right then. Y'all, when I tell y'all, I'm just like, boy, just found out about it like I guess a month ago. Well, not. I didn't just find out about it a month ago. He just said something about it like a month ago. This baby finna be a year old like in December or something, child. Like, 
I said, oh, it's mighty funny. I basically was like, it's mighty funny that you bring the baby up now. Because um, I made a point to say to myself, since he want to play stupid, I'm going to play stupid too. You ain't never brought this child up, but you posted pictures and videos of her like crazy. You never said nothing to me about this baby. I'm going to play dumb too. I'm going to get down on the level of everybody else. That's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start playing the exact games that everybody else want to play with me. Because... I don't understand what the reasoning you decided to have for you to sit up here and do this. This didn't even make no sense to me. Then you was in a relationship with the baby mama. You became one with this person. And I'm like, it's already bad enough you to have a child with this person. Then y'all were in a toxic relationship. Child, tell me why. The last time he and I talked, he going to laugh the entire time talking about, I ain't never had, we were never boyfriend and girlfriend. Now, sir, I saw the back and forth that y'all would have. Y'all were on again, off again, but y'all were definitely together. You would change your status. Your status for the longest said that you were in a relationship with her. And before she got fed up with you, her relationship status said that she was with you as well. Y'all were doing TikToks together with the baby. You were in her house living But somehow y'all wasn't together. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? See, y'all, I just, I was, I just, I don't like when people try me. I don't like when people play in my face like that. It's like, what we not finna do is this. It's already bad enough that you've been using me. And even if it didn't start out like that, you started using me because you understood that I am such an easy target because I am so kind and I am so giving. And I am willing to give somebody my last than to see somebody go hungry and go without. So you decided to use that to your advantage for as long as you could. And then you got mad when I said no more without actually telling you I ain't doing it no more. I just started, you know, cutting you off. I cut off the supply. You got mad about it. So every time I looked up, Cause it was so bad, y'all, that he would really try to make it seem like, oh, I hadn't talked to you. It's so wild. Oh my gosh, I missed my friend. We haven't hung out. Da, 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 da. I'm like, oh, okay. Child, it was all a setup because he would want me to come and pick him up from somewhere or to go get him something to eat or to get him some money every single time. Every single time. It was never a genuine moment after a certain point where you would reach out to me because you genuinely wanted to be a friend to me. It was only because you wanted something from me under the guise of I miss my friend I don't have time for it you're not gonna sit up here and play in my face but anyway y'all uh he didn't deleted me slash unfriended me and all that stuff he didn't do it on um uh Instagram right you still trying to follow me closely and all of that but uh I, I'm the type of person that if I'm done with you I'm done with you on every single thing that we follow friends on and everything else so i saw that i said no you're not finna sit up here and still see what i got going on i politely blocked him on there too since you want to sit up here and unfriend me and all of this i'm gonna block you i'm gonna be petty like you y'all let me tell y'all what i did think of i thought about actually being for real petty i know where you work sir i know both of the places where you work and on a day like today, if you work at your main job where you get paid twice a week, I could have rolled up as soon as it opened and just rolled up in there and been like, good morning, and continued on with where the petty was about to start. And I could have said, "I so, you know, I was scrolling on Facebook and I saw that you unfriended me. But yeah, and then like at some point I could have, you know, read him and been like, it's mighty funny how... All I asked you for was a an adult conversation. And you did everything to avoid that. And <laughs> you made sure not to pay me back the money that you said you owed. And you know that you owed me. Times are hard out here. It don't matter if you have kids or not now. Because when you borrowed the money from me, you didn't know if you had a child. And that money was supposed to be paid back before that child came into existence. So I'm just saying, like, if you're going to if you're going to play that game, I can play it, too. You want to be petty? I can be pettier. 
and I'm trying not to be that person. But stuff when people try me like this, it's like I see why some people actually enjoy being petty. I can see it, but it's like I'm not mean like that. I'm not going to do it because it took everything in me. I was I was passing this job. I was like, man, I will roll up in there. I said, I bet he there. I bet any amount of money he there. Right now, the time I was passing by because I left so late today, it's open. His job opened at like 9, 30, 10 o'clock. I could have rolled up. But I said, I'm not going to be petty. I'm going to continue my errands and I'm going to go to the house. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to not be petty. But anyway, y'all, I'm, I'm probably over here sweating to death because uh, I'm sitting in the sun. Um, It's not even hot outside yet. But yeah, y'all, I'm done. Let me go in the house. Thank y'all for listening to me vent. Uh, I guess my body decided to hold in the number one um, for a little while longer. Because <laughs> I thought this was going to be an easy, good 10 minutes and that was it. But yeah, y'all, thank y'all for listening. I appreciate it. I just had to get it off my chest because it's like, I don't, I'm a really great friend to my actual friends. And the fact that he took advantage of me and he has tried me. Then it's like, you wrong, but you're going to unfriend me? Oh, okay. But anyway, y'all, have a good day. I'll see y'all later. Bye.